Here we go. Here we go. Let me straighten this out a little bit. I'll fall down. All right. So uh, people still talk about Chappelle, and I made this observation. I think I made the video when I said, talked about uh, the thing before he speaks. We get all the other uh, not to get all the stuff, but he's wearing. The jumpsuit, I showed him the jumpsuit that I have, I call it a jumpsuit. It's like, you can think of it as a, uh, as a as a prison, as a worker's suit, as a prison's, you know, prison garment, or as a military garment, you know. Uh, where, where am I? Uh, nah, I'm not sure what the right is. Anyway, so I posted it, it doesn't matter, you know. So I'm just trying to say, even before Dave speaks, the boy's brilliant, you know. He, uh, he says something, like, you know, because he has a, name here and a patch there. Point is, he's in military mode. He's in, he's in warrior mode. I quote warrior mode. Oh, by the way, I'm wearing a Patrice Lumumba shirt that I got in New York when I first came on July 4th for this trip. Rendition of Patrice Lumumba. Uh, Dave Patrice Lumumba was the connection. Dave's mother, ah, uh, was associated with Patrice Mumu. She was in his cabinet before he got assassinated. There you go. We're all connected. All the warriors are connected. But I was uh, I was down um, to about connections. I went to the Eugene B. Redmond uh, Writers Club uh, last night, yesterday, uh, last night, and uh, down in East Saint St. Louis. I've known Eugene since the 70s. And, um, he's known all the big time the big time writers and stuff like that. Um, and I, I, I took several things from this, and maybe I'll post, if I ever get to post, and I've been posting, a series that, um, that I, 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 I um, recorded at the Writers Club with the participants and stuff like that. They're all older people, which is good. Um, and uh, so we talk, so I'll post that. But, and, um, and, and before I got there, I had to be picked up because I took, that was a long time ago, took this metro link from here, St. Louis, we're in St. Louis, um, Missouri to, to East St. Louis, Illinois, and there's a metro link train that goes there. Very, uh, you know, much respect to the bus driver, who because I had trouble with the, this machine, whatever happened, they wasn't giving the right. I couldn't see the sun, whatever was going on, but the, a bus driver came by. He just gave me a, a ticket, you know, to get on the metro. Like it was like good for seven hours. It took good to seven o'clock. I think I was there at like three, three or something like that. Anyway. So I got, got to where I was going, but I was going to pick up this place called uh, Queen's Casino. That's not the name of the stop, but all the locals know that it's Queen's Casino. So when the person's picked me up, uh, Medina, she said, Queen's Casino. I did, wasn't on the thing. I'm going crazy, but that's what the locals do. That's what, you know, it's like any place. Um, but uh, in waiting for it at the Queen's Casino, I'm sitting there waiting, you know, and, it's, and it's, you walk in, there's really no security. So you go to a casino, probably there's a couple of security guards. I don't know if they patch you down or anything. They say no guns and stuff like that. But it's just giant floor, basically looks like slot machines. I guess they have some other stuff in the back. But I was noticing the people that was coming through, man. Mostly black people, but older people, middle days, retired. And, you know, you could say that's their entertainment, safe safe entertainment rather than going to these clubs and whatever, whatever, whatever. But, man, it's like, it was sad. People in walkers, you know, breathing apparatus and wheelchairs, they're using their money to try to make money. Whereas other people their age, we're talking about politicians as Donald Trump, I must say Donald Trump, their generation, my generation, whatever have you, and we have other ways to, well, they, they, they gamble, they gamble with, those people's money that they put in, you know what I'm trying to say. But I was also thinking, well, all these people can't, I mean, I had this frustrating thing because there's certain people that I, I listen to, like I don't pay attention to MSNBC and NPR, NPR here. Yeah. I had this, like Manus was doing some sort of thing. He kept on saying, well, I'm not going to comment on whatever it is, I, I can't, whatever. And you're going like, wait a second, you're selling a book. But you're not giving us, you're just selling a book. You're not giving us any information. It's, it's even the stuff you're saying, it's not even in the book. So what's going on here? You're wasting our time. This Judy Woodruff, she's old too. I know her when she first started at PBS, you know? It's NPR, but NPR has some things with PBS. I don't know what's going on. Well, they're all associated. And some, some, then CNN sponsors some people. They're all hooked up. And this is not a, your public airwaves are, are beholden to the, to the, Look, 
I get all my information on YouTube. Like two of the people, well, I'm gonna give you just three programs that I, I listen to. Well, there's a lot of programs I, I, I check out. But but on a regular, it's a Kaiser Report, of course. There's, there's 5150 every week. Of course I do a event and, you know, events, um, uh, Breaking Brown. But uh, also do a thing called Corporate Report. The, the, the Corporate Report comes out of, he's in Northern Japan, but he's an American citizen in Northern Japan. And he's got some really insightful stuff. And he was calling, going on one this morning about it, a, a report about how the building number seven, I was, I was in the world, I was in 9-11 when it happened. I was, I was at Democracy Now. In fact, if you, when it first hit, we, we were in the, they were in the TV program, we were in the TV program at the time. We were still a radio program. We had got kicked out of the, the 120 Wall Street was at, at the, the, the Garrett, the Firehouse Garrett, um, uh, you know, uh, John Albert's place uh, there on, on Lafayette Street. And uh, so you can actually, the early tips, you go back to Dumb Oxy Night, you will hear when the planes hit. I was the engineer. There's only me and Amy in the thing. I don't even know if Brad was around. I, I don't know, whoever they were. Anyway, we were, rep we were basically reporting. You know what I mean? I was reporting. I was talking about what's because I had News Radio 88 in my ear. It was scrambling and getting stuff around because um, uh, um, uh, uh, John Albert's wife would come up and say, you should watch TV because it was a TV and everything. Anyway, it's a long story. But the point is, um, that's when you have people, look, the point is this. This report comes out basically saying that, no, nah, it didn't have, that, that building, that number seven, didn't fall the way it fell. And they got all the evidence they did in this, this university from Alaska. I'll try to put the, if I ever get to post this stuff, I'll try to put the link there. But the point of, of this really is what they did this time, then this report comes out, you think it would be news, but it's not news. Nobody's reporting on it. It's the same thing they're doing with ADOS. You know what I mean? They're trying to ignore. If, they, if we don't say anything, maybe they'll go away. If, if even if they come, then when, 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 when it's reported on, we won't report on it. You know, the big people won't report on it, therefore it won't be news, you see? Then nobody's gonna follow up. This is why you got, stop, look. If you're listening to this, that means that, that basically, you know, because I don't have that many viewers, whatever, have you, that means I got two or three people that understand what I'm saying. Stop it with the NS, whatever, those, those big time people. Just stop it. You're waste, your economy, as, Kaiser report, as, as Max Kaiser and Stacey Herbert would say, you, no, actually, actually, I got this from, um, from the, 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 the left business report, you know, which is like, your economy is what's in your, is which, your economy, your, your time is your economy. That's what I'm trying to say. The time is your economy. And they're taking your time. They're taking your economy. They, it's like they're taking money out of your pocket because you're not getting the information that's going to advance you. You want to listen to people? Stop listening to these news readers. Okay? Stop listening to these people that's talking into your ear. Yes, go to the comedians. Go to the Chappelle's. Go to the Joe Rogan's. Go to those people. You know, listen to him. Even Max is sort of funny. You know, go to those people. Uh, Corey, go to 5150. Get your information from there. Okay? Go to Zoe Williams and when he does his, his, his shows. Get their apps. Go go to them. Okay? And don't participate in the Super Chat or anything like that, you know, because they, they, they're trying to take money from that. And the point is, you get other sources. You do not have to, because even these others... Even these other, uh, the, these YouTube channels, whatever have you, when you have the, 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 the Young Turks, whatever have you, all they do is, re is constantly report on what the other people are doing. So you're in this loop. Even the so-called term, when you, they're in that loop. Even now I'm talking about, the, 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 I'm in a loop too. But the stuff that I want to, okay, when I post the stuff on YouTube, you're not going to get that anyplace else. But my point is, Go to pay people that you know, or even if they're in the loop, they're in it for a long enough time, they can really dissect the loop and not give you three minutes of nothingness. Because that's three minutes of nothingness that, 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 that that's taking away from, from, the, from, from the somethingness that's in your pocket, that's, that's your economy. Okay? Just want you to know this little tip. Because uh, I, I remember I've been doing media since 1972. <laughs> So a little tip for me, T, from the Patterson taking the trenches to bed, letting you know what I only suspect from a reality of ADOS that would be the American descendants of chattel slavery, the North American descendants of chattel slavery. We know.